Nancy Farmer's The Sea of Trolls serves as the inaugural installment in a highly acclaimed trilogy for children, debuting in 2004. The narrative spans 500 pages, guiding 12-year-old Jack Crookleg through a remarkable journey. The story commences in his idyllic Scandinavian village, where Jack lives a modest life with his parents and younger sister, Lucy. Despite his ordinary existence, Jack's life takes a magical turn as he apprentices under the tutelage of the renowned bard, Dragon Tongue. Under Dragon Tongue's guidance, Jack learns about magic, friendship, and the history of the Northmen and the enigmatic Queen Frith. Their tranquil routine is disrupted when Jack discovers a mysterious floating box at the ocean's edge, signaling the imminent arrival of Vikings, the same ones Dragon Tongue had fled before settling in Jack's village. Warned by the bard, the village prepares for battle. Jack, empowered by his magical training, conjures fog and mist to fend off the Viking raiders known as berserkers. However, Jack finds himself overwhelmed, and the Vikings, led by Olaf Onebrow, capture him and Lucy. On the Viking ship, Jack befriends Rune, a former bard, and Thor Gill, an 11-year-old berserker, in training. The journey takes a perilous turn as the ship faces imminent sinking, compelling Jack to use his magical abilities to save it. Due to Jack's talents, Olaf decides not to sell him and Lucy as slaves, but rather to use Jack for his own purposes. As Jack embarks on a journey to save his sister, he encounters trolls, dragons, and other formidable creatures in the mystical land of Jotunheim. The quest leads them to Mimir's well, where Jack and Thorgil must make sacrifices to gain wisdom and magical abilities. Returning home, Jack and Thorgil face challenges, including capture by a giant spider. Jack's singing soothes the creature, allowing them to escape. Back at Queen Frith's palace, Jack unveils the solution to her hair loss predicament. Lucy is freed, and the siblings finally return home. Surprisingly, the bard, who seemed absent during the children's ordeal, is revealed to have been present in Boldheart's crow body. Jack releases him, marking the conclusion of their extraordinary journey. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.